Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 17. But thou, when thou fast, anoint thy head, and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto man to fast, but unto thy father which is in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash, if you give me the spirit, to do this lesson. This will be a quick hit lesson going into fasting, man, okay? That there is a reward in fasting, all right? There is a reward in fasting, okay? And when you fast and you're in the spirit, okay, we know you can't eat, you can't drink, okay? You're just zoning in and focusing on your spirit and giving your flesh a break, okay? And there's benefits, big benefits in your spirit in that sense, all right, but overall, you don't know what the Lord is going to do for you for fasting, man. Okay, so ultimately, you don't know what that reward is going to be. You don't know what that blessing is going to be for you fasting, taking a break, okay, and focusing on the spirit, man. Okay, that means something in the heavens. That means something. If it didn't, then you wouldn't get a reward for it. Okay, so think about that. Okay. You're being rewarded in general in your spirit. Okay, that's a reward. You know, you're more zoned in. You get more locked in. You know, you overcome certain demons that was plaguing you or whatever it may be. Okay, that's a benefit and reward right there already off the bat. Okay, but like I said, overall, you don't know what the Lord is going to do for you, for you fasting, man. Okay, so I encourage to the spirit of more fasting. Also speaking to myself, okay, for locked in and zoning of spirit. And also, hey, you know, you receive a reward and you don't know what it's going to be. All right. Let's go to Luke chapter 5, verse 35. But the days will come when the bridegroom, talking about Yahweh Shai, that's the bridegroom, shall be taken away from them. And then shall they fast in those days. And we understand that Yahweh Shai being the bridegroom, he was taken away. Okay, and he's not back yet. Okay, so those days is talking about now. Okay, and through the Spirit, the Spirit had me go back into this lesson. I've done this lesson before. Okay, but it's a reminder that, hey, we need to fast. But also that there is a reward in fasting. Don't you want to get that reward? That's what the Scriptures say. Okay, so when it says, and then shall they fast in those days. And those days are now. Okay, it's a big benefit in fasting, man. Okay, we are surrounded by darkness every day, 24-7. Okay, tempted here, enticed over there. Okay, all kinds of distractions. So yes, we need it. We need it now more than ever. Okay, let's go to Joel chapter 2, verse 12. It says, therefore also now, says the Lord Yahweh, turn you even to me with all your heart, all your mind, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. Okay, so when we woke up in this truth, we are turning to Yahweh Bashim Abishai with a pure heart. We believe. We got faith. We heard the gospel. Okay, but fasting plays a part in that. Okay, that plays a part. And that fasting don't stop. Okay, Yahweh Shai is not here yet. Okay, so we need to fast through the Spirit, man. Okay, and that's between you and your how about you, I was shy. Okay, but I'm giving the message that we need to fast. And don't forget that there is a reward in fasting. Okay, that's not a small thing. Okay, because you're doing it in faith and belief and in the fear of your how about you, I was shy. Okay, maybe you, you know, you having a hard time and your spirit just ain't right and you know it. Okay, well, when you fast, that's a big thing. That's a serious thing, man. Okay, that shows that you are acknowledging yourself. You are examining yourself. And you say, man, you know what? I need this fast for my spirit. In the spirit of your how about you, how shy. Okay, so it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. And when you think about it, when you read Edris, I'm not going to get it. But when you read Edris, you know, he got a reward. He got more prophecies, more visions of the future. Okay, even though 
when you read, he was like, man, like, what's going on with our people, you know? But still, I mean, he was able to see the future, all right? That's a reward. Think about that, man. Dreams and visions, okay, you want certain answers that you're not sure about, you can fast and pray, and the Lord will what? He will reward thee, okay, and give you the answer if you confuse or whatever. Okay, so there's many angles to look at this, but overall, like I said, it's a quick hit, just a quick little reminder to you brothers and sisters out there, there is a reward in fasting, man. Okay, so examine yourself. Okay, you want to fast for something particular? Examine yourself. You got to examine yourself to be able to really do this right through the spirit of your how about you have shot. Okay, it comes with examination of self. You have to look at yourself, examine yourself, okay, and take action and move with faith. Okay, you fasting, that's moving with faith. Okay, afflicting your soul. Okay, you got to believe to do that sincerely through the spirit, man. So, hey, with that, like I said, just a quick hit, man. I hope you were edified with this quick lesson through the spirit. I want to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Rakha, Kodash, if you give me spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your Akamath that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.